Greetings and salutations, it's your boy D Boom for LOE Ascension, aka LOE Astrology, aka LOE Tarot, and I'm back. Um, back. So, I'm going to get cracking with these breakdowns, and uh, when I get to Twin Flames and Union, Reunion, and Recognition breakdown, I'm just going to do one big breakdown for them. So, Definitely interested to see what's up with these extended. Definitely trying to get some more detailed information on this week's energies and how things are flowing and all that good stuff and all that there. So, just going to go straight into it. This is a extended breakdown for Twin Flames and Separation. This is for September 23rd to September 30th. If you haven't checked out the original reading, please do that. It's definitely located in my videos. And um, let's just get with it. Shuffle one more time. Make sure these energies are good and mixed. So, let's get with it. Overall energy, bottom line energy. Let's get with it. Divine Feminine up top. Divine Masculine at the bottom. And let's begin. So, overall energy. We got Lucy Lou right here. And the whole frequency I'm feeling holding this in my hand is just you running a tight ship. But not just a type shit. You're running like a, a submarine. Feel me? It's about to go under. You hate your time under the water. But it's only temporary. It's going to be a while. But not that long. Thank God. So it's like you're really a, I don't know, commander, admiral, whatever is the highest position on, on, a, on a naval ship. I don't know. You're like that. Underwater. Meaning, you're underwater. Shit you're not going to get to, shit you can't see, it's things you're kind of going to have to be around in a tight enclosed space. Quarters. Q for quarters. In tight enclosed quarters. This could be, because you know what I'm saying, Dark Knight of Soul been, 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 been hitting a lot of feminines and masculines lately. You know what I mean? Including your boy. So this is like, I can say a tight ship, being tight with the pockets, tight with your resources, tight with a lot of stuff. Once again, you can't pour from an empty cup. Got to make sure you're straight before you do anything for anybody else. You know what I mean? You got to be a quality asset to yourself. And this is also, like I say, having the discipline to withstand what you have to go through during this period. Period. I go for the masculine and the feminine. Bottom line, we have the four swords. This is being in your head. So once again, swords, swords, speaking the same language. Overall, bottom line energy. While you're in the submarine, doing what you need to do. While you're at work, kicking in an overdrive to get your quotas met, to get what you need to get to so you don't get chopped off. In my case, you know what I'm saying? All right, shit. I got a low profile. I got smaller wheels on my car than I thought. And it was just like, I've been pushing it so hard. All my tires, they didn't like blow it on me or nothing like that. But they all split at the same rip. I got a 2001 Lincoln. You know what I mean? Nice fly ride. Definitely fits me. But I don't know shit about cars. You feel what I'm saying? Because I only had like three of my whole life. And it's been in separate delayed occasions. Me and cars... In college, it's just never mixed. <laughs> so it's like all four of my joints is gone. So it's weird because, like, I'm, I'm hopping on a train today. Uh, I'm just going to hop on a train for the next three days, three, four days. Mainly because, you know, payday until, like, Thursday. Secondly, because, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, ain't been on, I ain't been on CCA in such a long time that, and I ain't been in this situation in a long time to where I had to, like, take the bus to where it's like, shit, I'm going to make this shit a fun experience. I'm going to be in my head the whole time, not mad, 
You know, just dealing with it in an appropriate manner. While I'm on the bus, I'm definitely going to be analyzing a lot of things, doing a lot of writing, doing a lot of reading, cracking up this Urantia book, which has been sitting here for a minute. I ain't even going to stunt. So I can finally get some LLE Ascension segments popping. You know what I mean? It's just like using this quality time that you have in this little temporary quagmire, right? Riding it out, using it to your advantage. Both of y'all. And putting this more so on the masculine, it's just in the midst of him removing the people that he's removed. He's got to keep them away. He's got to maintain. Changing your life is easy. Making a decision to quit things is pretty easy, pretty simpleton. But at the same time, maintaining those things is the key. So, going to the situation, we got Divine Feminine to the Pentacles. Like I said, at the end of the day, you're in the submarine. Okay, it's not the end of the world. You're just down periscope for a bit. It's like going, I ain't never been in the army either, but I guess going on tour as an artist, going on tour as a, an army. You know what I mean? It's just, coming back, you know what I mean? You just got to do what you got to do real quick. And yes, this situation ain't all that, but it's what you signed up for. It's what come with the qualities of life. You know what I mean? So, it's all good at the end of the day, no matter what situation you're going, no matter what you don't have at the moment, no matter what you just kind of got to chill out on for a second to get everything else situation, you still good. You Gucci. Like I say, I'm going to be very comfortable on the CCA today and tomorrow and the next four days because at the end of the day, last time I was on there, my life is completely different. You know what I mean? Financially, um, mentally in a way, but. You know, gonna make this a nice experience because it is all good at the end of the day. So I ain't tripping, you ain't tripping, we ain't tripping. Just come with, come with making moves out here. Come with being a dope. Now, masculine coming to the situation, he's got the devil card. So like I said, old habits die hard. You know, when the dog's learning, when the old dog's learning new tricks, once again. He'll do the trick all day for the for the tree. But at the end of the day, is it like, is he going to keep doing it? Is he going to get lazy about it? He's an older dog. So if he doesn't want to do anything, he's going to have a little sassy, little slicker way of saying no. Then, I don't know, a new puppy that's just learning how to say no, like a child in the terrible twos. He's just freeing himself like Fantasia right now. Kicking things to the curb, quitting things. Like I say, quitting is easy. Maintaining it, that's the madness. So he's just, like I say, made his mind up to change, is changing, but just removing himself from this toxic element, unchaining himself from this devil card, you know, ascending from the foolishness that this is tied to codependencies, addictions, you know what I mean? Negative behavior, toxic behavior, things of that sort. Feminine you in regards to yourself, you got wishes granted. You have dreams coming true. Like I said, I've been saying this all week. It's a dream that's going to come true on your behalf. This has been happening in a lot of personal readings. I've been doing a lot of feminines too. Dreams coming true. This could vary from a lot of things. I'll wait to clarification, but this could mean a lot of things. It's your dreams. What do you dream about? You know? What do you seek emotionally? What's your cup of tea in life? What what do you want to attain, acquire, have that will make you smile ear to ear like the Grinch? If you attained it, if you manifested it, if it came about. We'll get into more detail with that, but as far as this masculine, unless you in regards to yourself, feminine, you got a dream coming true. Like I say, in regards to yourself, ain't got nothing to do with this masculine. Could be, I'm not going to cut them out, but it's your wish. You ask the universe for stuff. Like I said, whether you ask the universe for $10 or $10,000, the universe is going to make it happen with the same effort. So if you're going to aim, shoot high, aim high, you know? 
like this masculine is doing. Him in regards to you, feminine, we got the four of wands. Union card. I mean, I really can't say too much. I definitely got to wait till clarification to see what this is. But the way it feels in my hand, giving this wish granted on top of here. It just looks like union to me. That's one of your wishes, feminine. Not union, then at least fusion. Being on one accord, being in the same space. You know? Not back to the old ways, but back to the old days. You know what I mean? Four one and going home, being at home, being at home together. You two being in a common area, a common ground, a common space. Y'all been beefing and y'all just, I don't know, hollering for the first time in a while. It'd kind of be cool to have a common place, a common ground. You know, where y'all can kind of gel, mingle, mix, you know, formulate something between the two of you. Hopefully it's purpose and plan and all that, dear. Now, as far as the feminine in regards to the masculine energy, we got the Knight of Swords. Let's make a decision without crossing your T's and dotting your I's or how I feel in my hand. This is fear. This looks a lot like fear when I have it in my hand in regards to the feminine. Masculine too, but more so the feminine. This is like walking on eggshells. This is like, like I said, what I was saying um, this week. It was just like, you know, it's best to get everything out the air now. It's best to approach your masculine, your DM, the way you need to approach him now. It's best to get his purpose and find his purpose and at least get a sense of where you want him at with you now. You know what I mean? Then to wait till later. This is like the energy of you walking on eggshells. He came around, he called you back, y'all about to link up, and it's just like, yo, fuck purpose, all that. I just want to make sure we on cool levels. That's not the energy to have, you know what I mean? This the energy to have, because he might be on this. And you know what I mean? Y'all need to be on this together, just handling business, you know, taking it above yourself for a sec. Just handling it in a very royal way, self-righteous royal way. Not in a fear, fearsome way. This is fear. You know what I mean? The opposite of love is not hate, it's fear. If you have fear, then love is not going to manifest anywhere. Love is very level. It goes to self-awareness, to security, self-security. Whatever you fear will come to pass fast. Why you don't dwell on it? But I think happy thoughts like hook. You know what I'm saying? Keep it moving. Masculine. In regards to himself, we got the Knight of Wands. Moving fast and fiercely towards your divine path, your divine destination. Wands, wands, they speak the same language. Like I said, once you break away from this devil, once he unchain himself, he can finally get home and get on purpose and stay on course. Right? Future. Feminine card, we got the ghosting card. He's been ghosting you a lot now. What's the other way around? It's right back. Like I said, you're seeing, hearing his name everywhere. You know what I mean? You're hearing songs as if he's talking to you through the songs. You are, you know what I mean? At least trying to remember, if it's been that long, at least trying to remember how I used to be. You know, as long as like you forgot so how long it's been. It's like, you know, you're trying to recall what good times were like. What common ground was like. You know what I mean? What oneness and homeness was at one point. You know, psychically, you're not going back in the past. You are in your head. You feel me? But it's just like you're just really trying to figure this whole thing out. Intuitively, to be confident and secure about it. And that's what the whole Queen of Cup thing is. For you in the future, as far as the mask and going to the future, he's a Nine of Pentacles. You came into the situation, Ten of Pentacles status, because it's all good in your situation, even though you're going through what you got to go through. And even though he's a Nine of Pentacles right now, he's, like I said, headed, you know, he's headed home. To be a Ten of Pentacles. Two. He's coming into union to be a Ten of Pentacles. Two. He's being on 
his path, or at least getting in line with the path that you're spearheading to align him from a 9 to a 10. Clarification time. So, overall energy. Shuffle these real quick. Overall energy, we have the Queen of Swords, Lucy Lou being clarified by the Two of Pentacles. Now, there's a couple ways I can go with this. Just want to make sure I'm in the right direction with that. Six of Pentacles. So, like I said, In the midst of you being on your Lucy Lou business, you know, being 10 toes down in the decisions or decisions that you've made and are going along with, um, this in essence will level you up. Two of Pentacles is a level up or you being in the same space as your masculine. Feminine, masculine, this is the feminine row. This, in essence, is going to make you level up in life, this Lucy Lou thing you're doing, and it's going to bring your masculine right to you, closer to you, which, in essence, is going to stabilize you, because that'll be a wish granted, and stabilize him, because he'll finally be home, or at least on his purpose with the Knight of Wands. So, this is what's up. Overall energy. Bottom line energy, clarifying this for swords, you being all in your head. Oh, and let me go back to this double card and this four of swords, since it kind of correlates with the masculine. It's the bottom line four of swords, it's the masculine with the devil card. It's like, like I say, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. Until he gets on plan, until, like I say, he starts spearheading some shit of his own, he's just... I don't mind waiting for company. Now, feminine, clarifying this ten of pentacles you got coming to the situation. We have a tower moment. Once again, real shit happened to real people. Like I say, it's gonna have to take the bus for a couple days. Gonna have to hold on to your money for a little bit. You're gonna have to go without a few things this week. You know, you're gonna have to show up to court. You know, them little speeding tickets and camera light tickets been caught up with your ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, student loans want their bread back. You know what I mean? Everything. I'm going to, like, like I said, <laughs> school loans and fucking, up. Um, school loans. That's really dicking me right now. But that shit out of my hands. You know what I mean? I mean, I can only pay, but college. One cheap, and then like it was built. Ain't no scholarship or nothing, you know what I mean? Like, I know what I signed up for, so literally signed up for. So it's all good. It's just tower moment for the feminine. Keeps you on your toes. Make sure you're on your square. You know what I'm saying? Keeps you on that six of pentacle there while you leveling up in the world. Because you can't move up without going through some bullshit. I mean, it's that back wind. Millie Rock back wind and that shit. You know what I mean? It's always the back end of things. You just got to deal with it. And what happens to you is how you deal with it. Point blank, period. Including this little demo with the boy boy right here. Or the or the girl girl right here. Either way, it's nothing. It's just training. Look at it as training. As far as this devil card, it's being clarified by the nine of swords. Losing sleep, losing teeth, losing hair, losing weight, stressing over the inevitable. Obviously, you at rock bottom when you fucking with devil energy. You're at your lowest of lows when you're at the devil energy. This is as low as you can get. Ain't nowhere else to get but high. And when you're surrounded in this devil energy, it only makes sense. You're at your last mental strain of it all. It's not a sword. It's the step before the Ten of Swords. It has to be bad for you to want to quit. 
an addiction or for you to want to quit someone toxic or codependency behavior. You gotta have, like I said, you gotta want to quit. Shit has to happen. Shit has to happen for things to happen. He's just stressing so hard to where he's going to create a tower moment himself. It just so happened why Feminine is already going through her tower moment. And I'm pretty sure Karma got something for his ass too. Because you usually go through the same thing. Whether y'all realize that or not. Y'all twins is a reflection. Clarifying this wish granted card, Feminine. You in regards to yourself. You got the Seven of Wands. This is an uphill battle. Let me pick another card. Knight of Pentacles, Roaming card. So, this wish granted could be Seven of Wands, uphill battle, something that was major, but now it's minor. You know, like you won a battle, but the war is far from over. And then you got this grooming card, which is like, in my personal opinion, since it's red. They don't speak the same language because they're two different things. Like, this is a cup, this is a pinnacle, but at the same time, they're red. So I just take it as, like, one of your wish granted is to be groomed or grooming your twin, feminine. But it's like doing this, you know what I mean? Doing this or getting this seems to be shot. It's like even, even union. That shit seems a little shoddy. Like, it's an uphill battle to do that, or it's too much to do that, or whatever. Like I say, that's just making decisions without crossing your T's and dying your eyes. This is you in regards to the masculine. And like I say, this is having fear and not faith. You know what I mean? So it's almost like... It's almost like you gotta see shit to believe shit now. Like, you ain't walking by faith or by sight no more when it comes to your masculine. It's almost like he burnt you all the way out. It's almost like, like I say, even the idea of a wish granted at this point for some, not all, for some, it's just kind of, like I say, far-fetched. That shit Mount, Ever Mount Everest right now. That shit killing the jar right now. You know what I'm saying? That shit is like too far for you to see or comprehend right now. But like I said always, when it comes to union, you don't know how the hell it's going to happen. This is divine timing mixed with divine intervention, man. You cannot predict that. You cannot expect that. You don't even know. You know what I mean? You couldn't know until it happens. It's going to happen. I mean, they always happen, whether for the good or for the bad or the ugly. Either way gonna manifest. Clarifying this four ones. It's masculine guy. In regards to you, we got the ace of pinnacles. Manifest. It's gonna manifest. Okay. Four ones. Ace of, ace, of, ace of pinnacles. That's manifesting. Let me pick another card. Just cause. See what we got, bro. Eight of wands. In his face. Which is truly half the battle for a while. Half the union thing is communication and manifest manifestation. Like I said, if you can believe it, you can A, achieve that shit. If it's in your head, if it's one of your wishes granted to be in union, it's going to happen. I told you, you're the one spearheading shit. You're the one creating this. And if you're not, like I said, you can't be halfway in, halfway out. You gotta be wholeheartedly indebted to this shit. Straight faith. That's why I said some. Because, you know, the other, like myself, we just in it to win it. That's the prize. This is the prize, ain't it? Four of Wands, right? You have, your eye, you have your eye on the prize, right? It's your wish to get that prize, right? You're working to get that prize, right? Okay, get it. It's here to get it. Gonna take some communication on his behalf. Gonna take some manifesting on his behalf. He's gonna have to get to the, like I say, you're gonna have to groom him. This is on top of this too. Knight of Pentacles. You're gonna have to groom him to get him to manifest this union with you. 
That's why you need common ground to talk. That's why y'all need to be getting together on purpose things and not just smashing and shit. I mean, that's talking too, but this is verbalization. Okay, he has to get to the knight of... He has to get to the three of pentacles first. Like, first of all, uh, he's got to appear first, two of pentacles. This is up top in the overall energy. Lose these cards. You got to get to the two of pentacles first. Okay? To get to the three of pentacles, this is progression. To get to the three of pentacles, which is you and him doing shit. Engaging. That, in essence, will get him at a six of pentacles. You know? Which is uh, stabilization. From that stabilization, he can get up to the Seven of Pentacles, which is rearranging shit. Eight of Pentacles, which is making good decisions because he knows he has to sow a good seed to get a good fruit. To the Nine of Pentacles, which is where he's going to in the future, which is being at the cusp of even getting into the union with you. To being fused with you. Because this is you coming into the situation by a tower moment, which I've been saying for weeks. It's going to be fusion by tower moment, like something going to happen. To get y'all whatever, you know? And it's like, once y'all pass that Ten of Pentacle, and y'all can get to the Knight of Pentacle and the Grooming card. From the Grooming card, once you groom him, he'll be a boss. Get him to the Queen of Pentacles. Once you get him to the Queen of Pentacles, he can carry himself from there <laughs> to the King of Pentacles. And he can be a she, she can be a he. You know how we rocking over here. You know what I'm saying? Get him to the King of Pentacles, they can man up. And from that man up card, they can manifest. Okay? Into your life, into your situation. Because the whole time you was grooming him and, you know, getting him to boss up while you were bossing up the whole time, he finally caught on. It's like starting a bike and getting that shit going. You know what I mean? You just got to get him cracking. That's what the whole grooming process is about. Send the cards. This is a separation reading, right? Communication is half the belt to this union thing, but it has to be manifested by him post manning up phase. Pinnacle talk. Moving on. Clarifying this knight of swords, this fear card that's making decisions without crossing your T's and down your eyes, feminine. You got the three of swords. Pain. Heartache. You know what I mean? Expectations. High expectations that was overlooked. Or lowered expectations because whatever you expected didn't come to pass. Of course you're going to get your heart broken. Of course you're going to let yourself down and not build yourself up. Because you're already stressing. Already got fear in your head. Negative thoughts. Which got you out here making decisions without crossing your T's and down your eyes. Obviously because you, like I said, you ain't, on a, you, ain't in a, you ain't in a state of mind to win. To get it right now. That's that's real deal holy for Hurting yourself thinking like this and moving forward with this way of thinking. And you're thinking this way towards the masculine who, him in regards to you, is thinking very optimistically. Towards union, towards manifestation, towards communication. Y'all got to be on the same frequency, right? To fuse, right? Okay, then. If you're thinking negative and you're thinking positive... Y'all ain't going to be on the same page. Maybe you was thinking positive when he was thinking negative. Y'all wasn't on the same page. That's why you got to be on happy mode all day, every day. So when he finally gets to the same frequency you at, y'all confuse. Confuse. Or it'll be confusing. Moving on. Clarifying this Knight of Wands. This masculine has in regards to himself. We got the Ten of Wands. Which is just another reminder. In order for him to get on a path toward fast and furiously towards his divine path, his divine journey towards union, whatever this is, he has to get to the Ten of Wands first, which is ending something he was passionate about, which is putting something to an end to begin something else. What he's beginning is this new journey after he ends, hopefully, this devil situation. He's ending something. Because in reality, this devil is the only thing in the way, and the stressing, this mental stressing he doing is the only thing in the way from union. Not communicate, not communicating too is, is a big blow to the whole demonstration also, but he's got to end things to begin things so he can get on this path with you. As far as you going to the future with the Queen of Cups, feminine, 
You got the Four of Cups, the world. Once again, use your psychic powers, your psychic abilities, these tools, astrology, uh, numerology, tarot, all this stuff. Use it to your advantage. I would. I'm doing that. I'm succeeding with it. Why not? It's a quality others don't have. It's what sets you apart from everybody else in the world. Why not? Step your game up. Step your mental up. Step your ascension game up. Make you a more raw person. An X-Men real out here. Like, for real. Real life X-Men out here. You can do that. Right now. Starts today. Get your mind right. You can see your advantage. That's how you manifest out here. Try to manifest union, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. Going to the future. This masculine with this nine of pentacle business. We got the two of swords. This is indecision. Let's clarify that indecision. What's going on here? Nine plus two is eleven, though. Saucy. Mm. So. Why Master's at the cusp of being where he needs to be with you? He hopped on the fence. He literally did that last reading or one of his readings this week. He got progress and he hopped back on the fence. What he's looking at on the fence is the sauce. I take it in a few ways. Once again, coming to the union in his head is like coming home to Jesus. Feel me? <laughs> He chooses to become a pastor, at least me, when I do. Probably. Maybe. Not now. Late in the game. You know. In my grades. Ah, when a system like that probably needs me. You know what I mean? Like, right now, the world needs you, boy. You know what I mean? I don't want to limit myself to just a tabernacle when I can tackle the globe. You know what I mean? But at any rate, when I do choose to go that route, if I go that route, if I would go that route, this is how it would go. I would definitely find me a nice young thing, PYT, that I love, really love, and really know who's wise and on my level, so we can both come together and make something happen within the church, within the community. Community, right? I would give her a lot of stuff. Herb. Because I know hella preachers who smoke herb, and these niggas is, is straight counterfeit. It's not the weed smoking that make them counterfeit. It's it's because that gets you conscious. It makes you think totally outside of what you want. So to get out and then come right back into this on a daily, it's only gonna, it's only gonna, it's only gonna feel things for me because I have a very addictive behavior anyway. So I need to just cut all them out entirely. Smoke all that. You know what I mean? Cigars, yeah, maybe, but cigarettes, marijuana, I mean, liquor, all that. Has to be done. You know, I, I'm not Jesus Christ. I can't. I'm, and no one here is perfect. But I, 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 in my opinion, I have to be the perfect shepherd for my flock that I can be, possibly be. For those who are looking up to me for advice, as far as what I'm saying, that's what y'all are doing here. But when you like in that position, you really have to hold yourself accountable. You know what I mean? You don't know who's watching you. I could be having a smoke. Totally outside of church, totally in a whole other demonstration, a whole other environment. One of my pupils see pastor getting lit. It's like it's going to fuck his whole mind state up. It's going to make him lose faith in the whole program. That's why you have to be a good shepherd. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm going to have to lose a few things. And it's not like I'm losing shit. I'm gaining shit because I'm really switching my life in a whole direction to where it's never been before. Thus the next level. But since I'm in the world, ha, the world. <laughs> Four of Cups is I'm a psychic in the world. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to just enjoy my luxuries and what I can do while I am a, a, a vocal communicative shepherd, but it ain't like, like I said, on a community based tour, it's all eyes on me and I'm a big imprint on the people around me. I am, but it's on a whole other level when I mean like this. It's more condensed. So I have to be a better man. I have to be a better mentor, a better role model. Than I would be in this plane of existence because ain't no little shorties watching this. Hopefully they are, but not. Hopefully they ready for this right here. But anyway,
Did I clarify the bottom line? Energy? Clarifying bottom line energy. Four of swords. We got the seven of cups. So while you in your head, be thinking about how you can make yourself a better cup. Both of yes. And that's what I got. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's definitely what I got. Stay tuned. We got Divine Masculine's Karma Situation coming up now. Deuces.